So we have arrived in Vientiane. Say hi. Oh. I want to go in the backyard. Okay. <laughs> so we're just we're walking towards our hostel, which is near the bus stop. We'll probably head for dinner after. The night market here in Vientiane near the park. Right over there is actually the Mekong River, which borders Vientiane and Thailand. Let's go there. Let's check it out. So if you see it, there there's a river here. This Mekong River here, the stretch. And the other side would be Thailand, and this side here would be Vientiane. Sir, I don't know. So in Vientiane, open air aerobics is a thing in the plaza. Look at that. There's another group right there. We're really enjoying our view. You want to join the dance? Now we're going to head back to the night market since most of the people dance are now open. Let's go! Just outside the night Mekong night market are street food stalls that sell seafoods, barbecue, uh, insects, crabs, uh, fish balls. So yeah, so if uh, after doing some mapping from the night market, you can check out the food stalls for dinner. Yeah, thank you. The next day, we have arrived in our first destination. It's called the uh, Xing. Sheng Kwan uh, Buddha Park. This was actually built in 1958 uh, by a monk who studied both Hinduism and Buddhism. That's why you'll see an interesting mix of sculptures here, both attributed to the Hindu religion and the Bud, 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 and Buddhism. So let's check it out. Coming here, I'm not sure what she's referring to as well. So we're gonna rest for a bit and probably head to Thad Luang after here. So, see you in a bit. And that right there is a Thad Luang. Check it out up close. Let's go. day here in Vientian and we're heading to the temples nearby. We'll check out Wat Si Sakit, Wat Fu Frakio and Wat Si Muang. I think those are the names of the temples and the Patu Chai Victory Monument. So let's go! After a five minute walk from Nam Phu Park, we're now in the first destination. It's Wat Si Sakit or Si Sakit Museum or Wat Si Sakit Temple. Let's go!
addition to Watsi Sakit Museum is the Hofrakio. The Hofrakio actually has a really interesting story and I'm going to tell you why. Hofrakio uh, is also named as the Temple of the Emerald Buddha. It once housed the Emerald Buddha which was stolen from Northern Thailand or, what, or, what, or which was once named Siam. Uh, the Lao Kingdom actually invaded it in around 1500s and housed the Buddha here. The, uh, the Thailand army, the Thai army actually reclaimed the Buddha by 1700s by also invading the, this temple. So that's the most interesting story of this temple which is majestic. Look at that. It actually rained, we had to stop a bit. We're heading for Wat Simuang. She's there. So let's go! We walked around. Two kilometers from Wat Si Muang to get to this area. That's the Patu Chai Monument, Victory Monument. So we're gonna head there. So we're gonna we're gonna check the view from up there. We are now at the top of the Patu Chai Victory Monument. See the traffic here, you get a 360 degree view of Yantian. And Yari is enjoying her new portable fan. Let me see Yari. <laughs> We're gonna be going down in a bit and call it a day. The next day. Are you not a boy? Yeah, of course, you're a girl, right? Okay, you are wearing one now. Huh? Don't remove it, okay? So we're now on a tuk tuk to the airport. We're actually we were actually <laughs> we're actually waiting for the bus for the airport as it was cheaper at around fifteen thousand kip per, per head. But it was just taking too too long. So we had to take this tuk tuk, it was around forty thousand kip, which was roughly around ten thousand kips more than we were supposed to pay with the bus. So we, uh, we took it. I think we're near now. So heading to the airport and heading to Thailand in three hours. Let's go.